Please escort this suspect for interrogation. A good day to you, Percy the Dart Fleming. Huh. It's the flopper. Flopper? You're aware of what happened to Baker Street the other night. I'd say I'm a little luckier than that. Well, I don't give a fig. What were you doing two nights ago, around 1 a.m.? I was at the White Swan. The White Swan? The brothel that you own. That can't be counted as an alibi. What do I need an alibi for? What's this note? I don't know. It was among your belongings. So what? Does the name Jeremiah ring any bells with you? It's the first time I've heard it. about this threatening letter that bears your name. Oh, I remember now. A threat? Come on. Just a reminder for him to pay his debts. It's just a small one, and it's a matter of principle. How do you know him? Ah, oh, he's always coming around, begging for odd jobs. But he just talks rubbish. He's off his head. Do you have any business with Jack the Hammer Cole? I have. He sometimes provides my business with goals. But he's stupid. A hot-headed clown. Yeah. I would be worried about him if I were you. Yes. He told me what you did to his brother, and, well, let's just say he hates you. Can I help you, Mr. Rose? Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me about the business that you have with Percy Fleming. What? I don't have any business with him. No? Oh. Well, you supply girls to his institution. He's confessed. Well, he's a liar. Oi, why did you tell them I supplied girls to your brothel? Eh? What are you talking about? Is this going to take long? What's the reason for my arrest?
text is encrypted. If it's Caesar's shift code, it might be easily deciphered. Elementary. It's a notebook filled with debts. And Jeremiah's name is on the list. Get into the cab, quickly! Follow that cab! I should find a way to get inside. Something moved. That was nothing. I heard something, something moved. Nothing. 
It's closed. There was a fight here. Orson attempted to resist, but someone or something convinced him otherwise. The sound of a gong will attract the guards. I need to be careful. Let's get out of here.
Lestrade, I'm glad you're here. What's happened, Mr. Holmes? We've come from the abandoned St. Patrick's Abbey. I uncovered a gang of armed bandits there who did their best to kill me. Again? I'll send our best team to arrest them. Well, I doubt that you'll find anyone left, but if you hurry up, you might just find the spoils left over from their burglaries. I see. And I'll be very grateful if you could keep an eye on Mr. Wilde here. But Holmes! The slightest detail, etc. Well, apart from the smell of those bandits who kidnapped me, nothing special. And this Jeremiah was spending his time complaining about working for the fart. I think you mean the dot. Yeah, whatever. Jeremiah said that they should all wait till the fart was released. Hey, it makes no sense, right? Percy Fleming, you were charged with conspiracy to murder. What? You used Jeremiah Thorne in your little game because you didn't want your hands dirty. You're lying. Jeremiah spoke to me before he died of how you ordered him to throw the bomb and, after its failure, to abduct me. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. I think that it's perfectly clear. Attacking Mr. Sherlock Holmes is one of the quickest ways to be hanged. No. You can't do that. I'm an innocent man. Constable, take him back to the cells. Holmes, you simply have to face up to it. You need to have a serious discussion with Kate about her origins. I can't. No more excuses. She will learn soon enough that Alice is leaving. This other hidden secret. She will not forgive you. She does not need to know why. No? So she will blame you for Alice's departure. Is that what you want? No, I, I certainly... It's as Kate said. I, I always do the wrong thing where she's concerned. Now look here. I'll take care of your case once we're back at Baker Street. Cabby, why have we stopped? The road to the square is blocked, sir. Why? There's been a bad road accident. Oh, splendid. We'd better hurry. 
There may be injured who need help. His pupils are constricted, but they are moving. He is still alive. He has stopped breathing. There's no heart. I must act quickly to save him. safer area, sir. No wounds or injuries. I'd better call for Watson. Perhaps Holmes will find a way to free this poor man. Please help me. My, so leg. Me. My name is Dr. Watson. Let me examine you. No bones appear to be broken. Help! Ah, it hurts! There's some extreme bruising. I think that an improvised bandage will do for now. One moment, and I'll fetch what I need. Now, let me apply Somebody. the bandage. I need something else besides the rope. I need something. I see no visible injuries. 
Perhaps I could use ammonia. for your help. Holmes, it appears the police have arrested someone. Perhaps it is the person responsible for this disaster. What do you make of this accident, Holmes? Let me go. You're talking nonsense. Insulting a police constable, eh? That's quite enough. What's happening here, constable? Mr. Holmes, this gentleman here is the fellow who built the scaffolding which collapsed and caused this accident. That ain't true. How were you hurt? This hammer hit me on the leg. How? It flew out from the scaffolding I put up. When the damn thing collapsed, the hammer flew out and coshed me leg. You were standing over there at the time. Oh, I. Yeah, that's right. So it would not have been possible for him to bring the scaffolding down, Constable? Perhaps it was poorly constructed. Oh, right. Yes, of course. And what made it fall? Perhaps it was you, waving around that rotten stick of yours. You'll wind up getting a taste of it if you carry on like this. One moment, Constable. The scaffolding here has been entirely dislodged. It is unlikely that this disaster could have been the fault of this gentleman. Allow me to inspect the area. And if you could possibly be of use, close off the surrounding section. Do not grant anyone access, nor allow them to leave. Is that quite clear? Absolutely, Mr. Holmes. This accident is a little unusual. I need to concentrate on the details. I must include all the participants in the accident sequence. Poor leg. of water and electricity, a deadly combination. The old gas lamps in this square have been upgraded to electricity. 
I won't be able to release it with my bare hands. That's it. An old sprung cart, which has seen better days. Good day to you, sir. Would you mind answering some questions? I'm investigating this accident. Are you the driver of this cart? Yeah. I was transporting vegetables from my farm to the London market. What can you tell me about the accident? I don't know. There was a collision. I felt the ground. I come over all dizzy. What did you collide with? Um, that contraption up in front of me. He stopped all of a sudden and I tried to avoid him, but I wasn't quick enough. Do you have any idea what might have caused this cab to stop so sharply? No, no idea. What a bloody carnage. This mechanism played a part in the accident, I'm sure of it. This mechanism played a part. This carriage was struck by the scaffold when it fell. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please. Not now. I'm in shock. My poor leg. I've not seen a traffic accident like this before. Mr. Holmes? The rope holding the bunting was torn apart. A large section of it is now missing. The axe was catapulted by the scaffold and it landed here. Common fate, an uncommon location. Celebratory bunting. A dead driver, another victim of the explosion. This horse was blinded by the flag, causing it to bolt into the window. The overturned lamps may well have caused the fire and explosion. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion and my horse startled and threw me back against those wardrobes. 
This jaunting car would be capable of travelling at great speed. Those wardrobes felt like dominoes. The pumpkins fell here after the sprung cart collided. What a bloody carnage! This technical cab was involved in this tragic accident. This is an absolute disaster. What a bloody carnage! Celebratory bunting. This cab hit the scaffold and caused it to fall. My poor leg. What do you make of this accident, Holmes? This cab was set on fire by the explosion at the lamp shop. The driver is dead. He was killed by the explosion. I believe I have enough information about this accident. Now let's recreate the sequence of events. Disaster, but the lamppost fell down afterwards. So why did the cab stop? There's a metal strap in. This man was killed by electricity. Ash. This man was armed with a revolver. Webley, I suspect. Some kind of solvent. A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. Rasko. Yes, I know him. He's a small-time local criminal. A pneumatic hammer. A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. Some kind of solvent. Mud. Oof. Smells bad.
This crank has been turned. Some kind? Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion and my horse startled and threw me back against those wardrobes. I've not seen a traffic accident like this before, Mr. Holmes. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please. Not now. I'm in shock. Some kind of solvent. A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. Some kind, some kind of solvent. This cab was painted recently. There is some text underneath the paint here. It could be important. I'll need to find a way to... Underground Electric Railways Company of London. There's no space for... There's no space... There's no... 
There's no There's no space for this lock. There's no space for this lockpick. I've not seen such a device before. The electrical charge which affected the technical cab came from here. I can see the technical cab very well from here. An open bottle of cheap wine. A single glass containing traces of alcohol. I was looking for you. I have an idea about the accident. Never mind. This one is murder. What? What? You? You're a murderer, right? Eh? off your head. Are you sure, Holmes? Oh, yes. A murder and an accident. Because the killer, by electrocuting the cab, created this chaos. And so this multiple crash is now our great chance. Our great chance? Of what, Holmes? The culprit could not have planned for this to happen. Don't you see? And it is possible that he is still here due to the prompt arrival of the police. Now I see five men who could be our murderer. Let us take a look at the map. I don't think so. I should pay more attention to details. No, it wasn't like that. No, it wasn't like that. I 
don't think so. I should pay more attention to details. I don't think so. I should pay more attention to details. I don't think so. I should pay more attention to details. I don't think so. I should pay more attention to details. No, it wasn't like that. I don't think so. I should pay more attention to details. That's it. Constable, I suspect three people here. Take them to Scotland Yard for questioning. As long as I don't leave empty-handed, all's good and well. I know that look, Holmes. Have you found something new? That's right. In order to trap the cab, the killer must have known the precise route it would take. Or even, that could suggest the cab must have set out not far from here, in this very street, perhaps. Remarkable. Holmes, I'm terribly sorry, but I must go to the hospital now to help tend to the wounded. I understand, Watson. But don't forget our earlier discussion. Hmm? About Kate. Suspects, uh, Mr. Reginald Butcher, has escaped. It was after we asked him to put his belongings in the evidence room. I'm sorry. How did he escape? Um, he hit me in the face. Took me by surprise, you know, otherwise I... Uh... Of course. That's all? Just before he left the yard, he shouted, Sorry, I'll come back later. Sorry, I'll come back later. He could have said that without punching me. Is Inspector Lestrade here? No, he will be absent for a couple of days. Can we keep this incident between us? 